Earth and, and it processes, processes the surroundings. Cullen, his mommy Lisa, daddy Alex, and grandparents are going to the beach. They will go to Batangas, a place that Cullen has not yet visited. He did not sleep on the car ride because he wanted to see everything. Mom, what is that huge land that looks like a triangle? Oh, do you mean the mountain? Is that how you call it? What is it made of? Mountains are generally made of soil and rocks, but they also have water, trees, and various kinds of plants and animals. Mountains are elevated, which means that they are higher forms of land. The view from up there must be beautiful, Mom. Indeed, son. One hour has passed, and Cullen continues to look at the scenery. They have reached Ta Gai Tai, and from where he was seated, he was able to see a magnificent landform surrounded by water. Dad, Dad, what is that? Is it also a mountain? No, son, that one is called a volcano. Volcanoes look like mountains, but they also contain magma and lava aside from soil and rocks. Volcanoes erupt, too. They can be dangerous. That's scary. Dad, are there other landforms? Yes, we also have hills, valleys, plains, cliffs, and plateaus. Cullen and his family finally arrived at the beach. Look, Grandpa, my castle is already big. Wow, Cullen. That is a really great castle. Do you know what your castle is made of? Yes, Grandpa. This is sand. I learned that from my teacher in the second grade. That's right. Sand is a form of soil with large particles. It also drains water quickly compared to loam that is used in planting. Only a few plants grow in this type of soil. Grandpa, can I use this in my castle? Yes, of course, rocks are considered non-living. You don't have to worry about them dying if you use them in your castle. Rocks are also very important. Rocks and other non-living things in the surroundings, like sunlight, air, soil, and water, can benefit humans, plants, and animals. The entire family went swimming in the sea. They loved the sun that kept them warm and the air that blows cool wind and lets them breathe. Mom, what do we call this body of water where we swim? This is called sea. Sea is a part of an ocean surrounded by land. What about the water that surrounded the volcano earlier? That's called a lake. Actually, a lake is a body of fresh water surrounded by land. There are other bodies of water such as oceans, bays, straits, lagoons, waterfalls, and ponds. The family enjoyed the beach, and Cullen was extremely happy. He was happy to be with his family and surrounded by amazing scenery. At the same time, he was able to learn about his surroundings.